Here, we will be looking at a mechanism which is capable of tracing a mathematically accurate straight line. It was designed by Pocillier and it is essentially a 8 bar mechanism. Here the mechanism is shown schematically with a color code indicating the same length in same color. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and the fixed link 8 all connected by purely revolute pairs. To understand how it works let us look at the geometry. These four links of equal length form rhombus and these two green links added to it uh, still keep it symmetrical so these are the lines of symmetry. Uh, a, B and P, T are the diagonals of the rhombus which bisect each other at right angles and meet at point M. Then we have these two links again of equal length one of them is fixed and the other makes P go in a circle. Next we are going to look at the product of these distances OP and OT, OP and OT which can be expressed as this difference and the sum of OM minus PM and OM plus MT. Plus this PM and MT are equal and therefore we can make this substitution. So now it looks like the sum and difference product of two terms which is nothing but the difference of their squares and using Pythagoras we can express these squares in terms of these lengths which are color coded so OB is a length of the green link PB is a length of the blue link then this BM this term will get cancelled PM square and we are just left with the this expression which is purely made up of lengths of rigid links something that never changes and therefore remains constant. So the product OP into OT is constant. Let us see that in our figure. So we have a fixed point O from which there is this ray OPT emanating and the distance of P and T from O uh, get multiplied to give us a constant. This expression reminds us of inversion. Inversion of point P with respect to a circle whose center is at O and the resulting image is T. So T is the inverse of P. Moreover, P is moving on a circle and that circle is passing through our center of inversion O and therefore the inverse of this circle will be a circle of infinite radius or a straight line which is traced by the image T. So T will be our tracing point for the exact straight line mechanism. Let us see this in its physical form. So this is the mechanism that we have derived from the geometry that we just saw and we are going to drag on this point P which will be moving on a circle and you can notice its image T is tracing a exact straight line. Of course we will be getting only a segment because this is a mechanism made up of links of finite lengths. So we will be getting only a part of that infinite straight line. Here is another exact straight line mechanism designed by Hart. It is a 6 bar mechanism all connected with revolute pairs shown here in schematic in a color coded manner. So lengths, uh, links of equal length are shown in the same color. The tracing point T is not a hinge but it is a point that divides this link in a certain proportion. The proportions are given here. The point Q goes in a circle which passes through E which is the pole of inversion and the inverse of Q is point T which traces a straight line. Let us see how it moves.
so that is a straight line which is the inverse of this circle the path of q passing through the pole e